Welcome back to Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm your host, Felicia Fercasi. And the objective of this episode is really just to help entrepreneurs maintain integrity in their business and to help entrepreneurs understand the importance of walking with this at all times when running a business. Welcome back to the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast with daily on-the-go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship. Hosted by the owner of Fercasi Lashes and the Blow Dry Lounge, the Beauty Boss Millionaire herself, Felicia Fercasi. People always ask, you know, why is integrity so important in business and what exactly is integrity on a business level? Well, let's just go over integrity. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one else is around. It's the ability to act with honesty and be consistent in whatever it is that you are doing based on the particular moral value or beliefs that you have inside your heart. So basically, you don't want to look like a shady business and you're not going to be a shady business because I'm going to hold you accountable. One. And two, your own conscience should not allow you to just do people any type of way, take people's money. You know, you see scams all around. Scams have been around for a long time and any business doesn't want to be attached to the word scam, a sham, just not being a reputable business. You can get your BBB accredited. I kind of feel a certain way about that too because they make you pay to be a part of this just to get this stamp. But hey, if that's what you want to get to get your business accredited, you can. I know plenty of businesses that aren't registered, but it's still important that you maintain integrity and do the right thing when no one is watching. And as a business, your reputation is it's vital for your success. Customers go off ratings. They go off what they hear. Suppliers go off this. You know, even your business partners or investors will need to be able to trust you when you're operating a business. When you act with integrity, it helps you build this reputation. I always often say integrity is like the halo of your business, meaning that that's what keeps you good. It keeps that angelic force around your business, keeps you doing the right thing. And even it happened tonight, I was in a gas station and I was kind of waiting in line and the girl left out of the line. And I guess the cashier realized that he had kind of overcharged a girl or he owed her some money. <laughs> it's kind of funny because he left me at the register, ran out behind the girl and trying to uh, tell her to come back in to get her money. And she wasn't listening. She was kind of already in the car. And so he kind of like waved her down. And, you know, he left me out. I was kind of in a hurry, but I just waited for him patiently to come back. And she came back in the store and she's like, oh, thanks so much for uh, giving me back the few dollars. I think it was only like three or four dollars, but that was integrity. That was a moment of integrity where he acted and said, you know what? Let me give her back her few dollars because I overcharged her or didn't give her the change. I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention. But all I know is that he owed her some money and he ran and chased her down. And I said, you know, good for him. You know, I told him, I said, good job. You know, being honest, it's hard to find nowadays. And it's so important that even as business owners that we act with integrity. For example, if someone pays you and they don't end up picking up the product, you need to either have a policy where all sales are final and it's listed on the counter or listed on your website or it's listed or you need to do the right thing. If it has nothing to do with, you know, you don't have a policy up. If someone wants their money back, give them their money back. Another thing too, you know, a lot of these businesses nowadays, let's just say it's not a brick and mortar store. Say for example, it's like a real estate company that you have or some type of business that you have. Uh, if you do not have any policies in place uh, about how it goes with money and handling cash because it always gets shady when it comes to people's money, meaning that people don't act integral when it comes to people's money sometimes, especially depending on where you're at, where there's a, a scarcity of money or people just think they can keep a deposit. I remember in New York City, there was a scam that was going around where they would show you an apartment, you love it, you like it, the place is only like, you know, a few thousand dollars a month, you were so excited. All they want is a small deposit of, you know, $500 to hold it, quote unquote, hold it. And it either had to be in cash or a check or whatever. And there, there you were, you'd write the, you'd write it out or you give the cash over, poof, you never see the guy again. And the scam became so bad in New York City that we actually were all warned not to give deposits, uh, not to give anything, because if someone truly has an apartment that they're holding for you, uh, that they will actually have you sign, fill out the proper paperwork and be integral and do it the right way. And I know right now in New York City, uh, after the whole pandemic, that it's actually illegal to hold people's money, uh, especially a multiple months in advance because of this reason of people not acting with integrity. It's really important that you, as a business owner, Act with integrity, treat people right, do the right thing when no one is watching, 
And think about it. How would you want to be treated if you were in those shoes? There's so many times I see, you know, people must leave a deposit before you do any service. And it didn't ever used to be like that. And now you have people nowadays, they'll still take your deposit, but they won't even give the proper service. They won't even be there the day of, which is just unorganized business ethics. And this is why, honestly, my business still stands to this day is because I don't take deposits. If you don't show up for the appointment, I don't get mad. I just put you on a little list, like put you on the no call, no show list, which you still can get in, but we won't probably hold your appointment. We'll just kind of keep you off to a queue of, you know, walking only or something like that. But it is important that if you are taking someone's money, that you should be doing the right thing with their money, with their deposit, um, with the service. Give good service. Give good quality work. Make sure they're 100% happy. Be available to answer questions if they arise on the product or on the service. Make sure you have a good contract with you and the person. Because if your contract doesn't state that you'll be doing A, B, C, and D, it could be very confusing from their part because they thought more thought you would maybe do more. So, and, and even in um in the builder's world, there's something called a scope of work where you have to line down all, list the items of what you will be doing in price of this money. Because a lot of times people assume that you should be doing more or they should be doing more. Or there's no clear de- definition of what exactly is to be sp- expected with this job. And it's very clear that as a business owner, that you're outlining and saying, you're going to be getting this, 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 and this and that. You need to write down these deliverables and give them to them so they know what is to be expected at the end. You need to maybe even also, if you're a web-based business, you might even need to say, listen, if there's any revisions or alterations, I can do up to one or two, whatever it is, um, so that people are not trying to give you seven and eight. This is how all these rules come into place because they've been taken advantage of. I've seen it on uh, so many online sites where there's these rules in places because it's probably happened before and they've probably been burnt uh, or gotten a bad rating because it wasn't listed in the original delivery. So please, please, as a business owner, make sure you act with integrity. One, make sure you're outlining what you are going to do for that money or make it clear for the amount. Three, if there's refunds uh, that you're going to give out, you need to make sure that's clear. If there's no refunds, you need to also make sure that's clear as well. Because I've seen really bougie businesses list right there on the counter, no refunds, all sales final or exchange only or 14 days within the limit, seven days, Walmart, I think it's 30 days, uh, Amazon, everyone lists their terms. And you, even as you're a small business growing up to a larger scale, you need to also list what your expectations are for the customer and what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept so that everyone is maintaining quality and giving really good integral service to their clients and customers. I really hope this conversation on integrity has really helped. It is the halo of your business. It is the stamp of approval. It is the honest woman, the honest man, the honest business person's sign of approval that you will do the right thing even when no one is watching. Please remember to rate, like, share, subscribe, all the above so Beauty Boss Millionaire can continue to help people. Have a good day. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire.